to talk more now about the Neighborhood Safety Corps is the Commissioner for Information in Lagos State, Mr. Steve Ayorinde. Thank you so much for joining us on the News at 10. Thank you, well, they, they do look smart in their uniforms and they look, you know, ready to, ready to work. But so just tell us how this Neighborhood Watch Corps will operate. Well, uh, this is basically a second level to community policing, uh, if you like. Uh, you know that Lagos has always had the Neighborhood Watch. Uh, what we have done is to uh, give it the backing of the law and transform it. It's actually a rebranding process from Neighborhood Watch to Neighborhood Safety Corps. Uh, 5,700 of them, which means that you have about 100 uh, of such uh, officers, in quote, you know, in every local government and LCDA in Lagos State. And uh, there is no competition with the police? Not at all, absolutely. No competition whatsoever. Their job actually is to assist the police essentially with information. Their job mainly is to try to prevent crime and to assist the police, assist the government in apprehending criminals. They do not carry arms, as you know, uh, but they are allowed to go with tasers, to go with metal detectors, to go with um, uh, a few other things that one, they can protect themselves with and that can assist them in making arrests, in identifying criminals and reporting same uh, to the police. So how were they recruited? I mean, how was the recru rec 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 recruitment process done? I mean, were these people you picked up? Are they okay, jobless had... people in society or just <laughs> people who, who already have jobs? I mean, is this a full-time thing for them? It's a full-time. It's a full-time job. Uh, they were trained. Every one of them, you know, was trained. Uh, medically, physically, you know, mentally. Uh, a good number of them, you know, was actually moved from the neighborhood watch uh, and absorbed into the core. But uh, mainly uh, about 4,000 or more of them, the, a large chunk of them, uh, were actually recruited, uh, you know, from different people with different backgrounds. There are a number of graduates there of different you know backgrounds and discipline that people study social sciences psychology you know sociology um, ond candidates uh, mm -hmm. even school sets because they will be tested and they will be trained there are people like you and i but who live in the communities who understand uh, the basic security needs of every community uh, because this is a product of research we know for a fact that a good number of the crimes that happen uh, in our communities happen mm -hmm. because nobody is giving tips, is telling the police what's going on, is volunteering information. Their job will, to, will be to liaise with people who will volunteer information and then they'll pass, you know, same to the police and to the government. Mr. Steve Ayorindi, thank you so much and uh, good luck to the Neighborhood Safety Corps. Um, I do hope that they do fulfill their duties and our society is a lot thank safer you. with their presence.